This is that law. It's called a trigger law. It reinstates an abortion ban from 1910. And with the attorney general from Oklahoma certifying it today, it becomes law today. Abortion is now illegal in Oklahoma in every case, except when a woman's life is at risk. We're devastated. We have been, um, while we've anticipated um, this to come down for a while, the, to actually see it, um, that Roe v. Wade and, and Planned Parenthood versus Casey is um, overruled and um, we're really trying to process it. Praise God. It's been something I've been praying for. It's the whole reason I got involved in politics when I was a student at OU. I got involved in the pro-life movement. It's the only reason I joined the Republican Party. It's the only reason I got involved in races. It's the only reason I ran for office. As expected, different reactions tonight from lawmakers and pro-choice groups. The Attorney General moving today to authorize Senate Bill 1555. It reinstates an Oklahoma statute that says anyone who provides, prescribes, procures, or advises on an abortion shall be guilty of a felony. Anyone found guilty can be imprisoned for up to five years, with a minimum sentence of two years. Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat authored the trigger bill. It's a win for democracy. This returns power to the people. People in state houses all across the country can set the policy that best fits their state. While the ACLU views the ruling as an attack on individual rights. This is the first time, at least in my lifetime and in many people's lifetime, where we've seen a loss of rights. And we don't know where it ends. Despite today's ruling, the ACLU of Oklahoma Oklahoma says they will proceed with their legal challenges, saying that state privacy laws protect a right to abortion here in Oklahoma.